this is my good friend Alex Brom. Is that how you say it, Brom or it's Bram? It's actually Bram, like hot diggity dam. Bram. Yes. Ooh, hot diggity dam. Um, hey, he is the producer with Leah, uh, right? Producer of Carnival of Darkness. Right. It's the first annual. You've heard me say it all night. First annual Carnival of Darkness Film Festival. It's here in lovely. Los Angeles, but it's not Los Angeles. It's Westwood. It's Westwood, California. Yeah. By UCLA. All this stuff, you know, they they. It's LA. Um. Okay. Or Hollywood. I guess we'll just call it Hollywood because I think it sounds better. La La Land. It's La La Land. Some people call it. Um. Your festival was fantastic. Thank you. I mean, thank you for having just everybody here. It was so amazing. I talked to a lot of great people. Met a lot of great people, saw a lot of great people, and saw a lot of great movies. This is the family of horror. This is. You know, everybody see, it was like a community here. Yeah, it I, I really, want to do that. It was really kinda a like that the, feel. Kind of like the hippie movement in the 60s, yeah. only with no, blood. Um, Alex, I don't know if you know this, but this is happening all over the United States. Cool. Um, um, there's a big movement in Kentucky, Ohio, especially in the Midwest. It's mm -hmm. really very interesting um, how it's working in the Midwest. But to see that it's still alive here. It, to me, that's gratifying because, you know, a lot of indie business has to go out of California just to, right. to stay in business. Right, and, right. and you're keeping it here. Yes, I am trying. I saw you, did you film mostly in Glendale? Uh, Glendale and, Ca you know, I don't think I've told you this before. Mm. Uh, we filmed half in Glendale and half in Vera Miles' original house, who was in Psycho. No So all those, way. yeah, yeah, so that yoga scene. That was a the, crazy house. And I didn't want to insult in. anybody, that was, you know. Yeah, Vera Miles' It was a crazy house, looking house. Which was such a thrill for me, because anything Hitchcock, Yeah, you know, it had that vibe to it. It had that vibe to it, but you know what? It had that retro vibe to yes. it, too, but it didn't look dated. I really no. was I was really impressed with that because it had that it had a vibe without the look of right. being dated. So it had a freshness and it wasn't um, it wasn't slasher, but right. it was. Retro horror is not about moving backwards but about right. moving forwards and just kind of learning from the from the masters like Hitchcock and you know John Carpenter and all this right. but not just getting stuck and trying to redo Halloween but taking it to the next level because with you know special effects yeah. and the, you know, the digital movie making revolution that yeah. we, we can go further. But you had some special effects. Yeah. And in Here fact and there. in fact it was there were actually a couple of um, supernatural films, but yes. yours was a supernatural film. Absolutely. And you know, it was really well done. Thank you. And but they weren't over the top no. special effects. So it they were subtle. so they were so subtle they looked real. Right. That's what I loved. Right. I mean I was so excited. I'm like watching this movie. I wasn't analyzing it. I was enjoying it because it, the story was told from a fresh perspective. Yes. It did it didn't like, and I was saying to Leah in the other interview, even the ending was an indie ending. It was straight up an indie ending. I know. Because because the industry <laughs> ending would have been predictable. Yes. But but the the fact that you went with the indie ending, okay, yeah. it's it's great. But it was one of those oh, yes, endings, yes. and it was really very. Um, <laughs> it, it brought the it brought the horror back to like a really basic. Um, human and woman level, yeah. and it was that's what I liked. I, I yeah. didn't peg it until just now when I said that. Yeah. It brought it back to the woman's horror. Yeah. It was the it was a horror a horror film about women. It really was. It's it, it you can break the film down to you know they've moved into this new house and she you know the character should have listened to her yeah. intuition and gotten out of there. And but, she didn't. But because she decided to you know I'm just going to work it through and be positive. Don't tell the ending. Don't tell the ending. Well, the, the plumbing. Don't do it. The plumbing goes out. Is what happens. Yeah, literally. Is, is what, yeah. uh, uh, no, you know, um, I I was so impressed with the sound. Oh my god. Yes. The sound was so professional, and Leah told us. I think you may have mentioned it on the show too. Yeah. The sound was unbelievable. Was I mean, crazy. It was crazy it was because crazy. I'm and I'm I. Okay, I love indie. Everybody knows it. I don't have to say it over and over, but I do. Uh, but the sound is usually the issue with an indie movie, and I wait for it. I'm watching a movie. Yeah. And I wait for the sound. Where is the sound going to crack? Yeah. Where are they? Where did they not have coverage? Whatever, whatever, you know. Yeah. And yours was perfect. I mean, right down. You guys have holy work. Yeah, we did. I mean, that was amazing. Yeah. You don't see it in movies, and I wish because because you are not a studio producing an independent movie. Right. And that's what made it 
all work because you've got fre you've got the fresh story, you've got the woman's story, you've got the supernatural, you've got limited special effects, the retro horror, and the sound. You've got the whole package, and you're not even a big company. And horror sound is so important. It's the most important. As a matter of fact, I remember as a kid, like some of the first records I ever bought. Rec LPs, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, were just sound effects records. And horror, like Halloween, like yeah. were werewolf I, attack. I still have my like CD or uh, cassettes of yeah. like horror sound, of like just yeah. sound effects. Yeah. I, was, I was a weird little kid, but I, I think I always sort of gravitated to it. <laughs> we were all weird little kids. All, 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 all that sort of thing, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, the panel discussion went off really well too, I thought. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, all of them were just so... Like, like you, you almost just want to hear them just keep talking, yeah. you know. But, but it's a panel discussion, and Leah did a great job of keeping it moving yeah. and everything. And, um, um, and I think they filmed it. I'm not. Oh, sure. really? I think they did. Oh, I'm that not would sure. be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we would. Our audience would really so maybe be we'll interested get some, in some that. Clips yeah, out there. that would be great. Yeah. And and there were quite a few press people here too. That yeah. was really great. Yeah. And um, uh, you know, I want to thank you thank for you. being on on here, but also having been on our show yeah. for being a great supporter of indie horror and hey. and of paranormal. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll come on anytime. To really? just oh, fantastic. Well, yeah. do you have other shoot projects that you're shoot, working on right now breeze. that you want to talk about, or you need to take a break for a while, or what? No breaks. That's there, what they said on the panel. Everybody on the panel. Every single person on the panel said you have to keep what was it you have to keep projects in the fire mm -hmm. um no breaks working 27 hours a day because you, and and um i think jason miller yeah. yes yeah jason miller said you have to be not just ready with your projects but you have to be on yeah. because it can happen like this and you have to be ready when it does i want to do a uh mm, should i say uh a religious thriller next. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. So, that's all I'll say. Are you going to stick with shorts, or are you going to go to feature? Ooh, and I just hit the table. I want to uh, break into features, yes. I think so. you're ready. I think I so. do. I think you're ready. That movie proved it to me. I, I think don't so. have to. Yes. My feet are in horrible shape. Mine aren't. Oh. <laughs> because I'm used to wearing stilettos all day, all <laughs> night long. Um, Alex... I cannot tell you how happy I've been just being here. The hospitality, fantastic. Um, you're all very charming people, and I hope I can count you as my friends now. Absolutely. And that um, apparently I've, I've been invited to all these other events next week or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I can make it back that soon. I got a, I got a speeding ticket on the way here. Oh, no. Let's, uh, so you didn't baby. try the batting the eyelashes thing? I, I, I did. Mm. Mm. He's, oh, well. a very, he's a very handsome highway patrolman. Well, maybe, you know, something Thank, thank you, Officer Schaefer. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I have to go back on the same highway. I think, he's, I think he said that he comes on duty at 5 o'clock in the morning, but I'm not going to wait for him. So um, I, I will come back. I can see that this is just a fun, fun place to be. Um, yeah. Northern California is so different than Southern California. Um, but but uh, visiting down here has been great, and, and I look forward to it. Um, thank you. Thanks for coming down. I'm going to shake your hand, but yes. I'm going to give you a hug, too. There you go. There you go. Oh, thank you. All I know right. you're exhausted, and so yes. am I. Um, before we leave, would you mind saying your name? And I love Para Women Scream Radio. This is Alex Graham, and I love Para Women Scream Radio. Yay! And we love Alex Bram. Woo! Yay! I must leave. Thank okay, you. thank, thank you, you so honey. much. You be careful, okay? All right, we'll All right we'll guys, do. that's it. They're about to kick me out of the um, the beautiful theater here at the Majestic Crest Theater on Westwood Westwood Boulevard in Los Angeles. It's been the uh, it's the end of the first annual um, Carnival of Darkness Film Festival. It's been fantastic. It's been amazing. I've got so many great interviews and met so many neat people.